worst part are the giant buckies. The brisket though. Well, it's a tent lot, so. Our tent. This is our tent. Barber Vintage Festival. It's held every October and we'll be here Thursday through Sunday. How do they like old truck kind of like helps us do? Yeah, I, like. yeah, we're obviously enthusiasts that are here for like a reason. that you can. Uh, it probably needs to go back a smidge. I'd say that's good, right? That way your trailer um, hook thing is whatever. That way your trailer hook. Yeah, that's fine. I'll unhook it and we'll put the truck over here. Since it was late in the afternoon, we wanted to hurry up, get as much stuff unloaded as possible, and then go quickly breeze through the swap. On this adventure of, we bought too much stuff, Honda Rebel, two people, a motorcycle, tire, and two toolboxes. And two toolboxes. Can we do it? Hopefully so. Someone's getting it. I'm attempting to light our little burner thing because the igniter doesn't work with a red hot wire and a drill battery. And we're hungry. Touch it to the side door. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing what a man can do when he's hungry. Beautiful. That worked way better than the stupid igniter I've been playing with for. Now we ever. can cook our weenies. Alright, let's get some. Alright, we're gonna leave the jumping wires out. In the meantime, I'm working on installing our lights that keep falling down. I'm doing a great job. Finally got my lights installed. Daniel's still working on grilling the hot dogs. We did forget our skillet, which is slightly problematic. We still making hot dogs. That's the way to light our grill thing with a battery and a wire. This is home for the next three two three days i don't know however many days we brought the honda rebel that's the bike i first learned to ride on there's a video titled the honda rebel that just might kill you it's that one we still have it got our sign and then our new to us project is the honda express 
Daniel got that running and riding around. Of course, we bought the truck to tow with. Sneak peek from this side. I love it. it makes me happy. Yeah, this is home. There's a bunch of other people that are doing the same thing as well. We've got our tarp down and our blanket down. The next layer is the mattress itself. The first night, it takes us a while to get everything set up inside the trailer, mostly with our bedding and getting everything situated and organized. But after that, sleeping in the trailer for the next couple of nights isn't really a big deal at all. We're going to check out the swap meet better today. Yesterday was just kind of like a pre-checkout. Today, all the vendors are out in full force, and we're going to go walk it and see what we can find. It's Friday morning here at Barber in the swap meet. The swap meet opened up at 8, so we made sure that we woke up bright and early to be one of the first people here to catch all the good deals. Right. 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 Right.
boot off him, I can cap it. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. right in there. And I didn't get it around this one. Well, I was going to, but I didn't. I didn't mark very hard in it. So we got one down. <laughs> Another express. Our budget allows us to, what do we have? We have 800 to play with? Yeah, and then some extra money for Sunday only. So our goal is to try to buy a bike a day or at least a bike a day. to fill the trailer. I don't care how we do it. And the truck. himself another one. I'll get the flat tracker away from it so that uh, you can get it when you get ready. Sounds good. Thank you. We are almost on the last row and we've got the foot bag loaded down, carrying stuff, and then hopefully we're going to go check out the Japanese show. Then I think we've bought three or four bikes already as well. How many bikes have we bought so far? Three. Three. I'll check out their cool white like, step van. Oh, that is cool. Daddy. Oh, that one's neat. The chopper. Since we had stuffed our boot bag so full, we decided to leave the Swapney area, head back on the Loop Road, which is a two mile loop around the whole park, head back to our campsite to drop off all of our finds, and then go to the motorcycle show.
I'm a sucker for those. I want one of those. Oh, oh there's that big massive thing. Yeah. yeah. Tell me that's not just the coolest thing ever. Then you can't sit in six and drink. But we'll go look at the Oh, well, cherry blossoms. That's pretty. Back to the swap meet area. We found another one. This one is a Peugeot. Yeah, that is, and I had never seen a Peugeot. Daniel picked up the cutest little thing. Show us your cute little thing. Tiny vice. It's a tiny vice to work for this tiny equipment. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> this is our third trip walking around, I think, in the swap meet so far. Twice today, once yesterday. This is our third time today. Yeah. Oh, third time today? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay, and then once yesterday. So four times so far. And we buy stuff every time. <laughs> we probably should stop. <laughs> but right now our bike count is up to four. Do mopeds count? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Now we're checking out what's called the fan zone. We didn't get to do this last year or the year before. So we're trying to do things that we never got around to doing.
strength and skill to rise to the globe with that. And of course, a little fuel. But I don't mean gasoline, I mean the noise you make. So let's get it out! A true wild child in the globe with that. She's gonna show you why we call her Olga Loca. That means crazy old in Spanish. And she's gonna see how crazy she can get. Little one-handed action showing she's got some guns. Oh, little Brazilian zigzag a lot of torque trying to throw you off the bike at this point. My father's favorite ride back in Brazil in the 70s. Barbara, if you want to see all the go higher, you gotta get loud. Let's get loud! Go higher, baby! Go higher! Yeah. That's why she's the number one rated female global dead rider in the world. into the stop meet space it's after five so it's 5 28 back home time after five o'clock you can come pick up everything you got and the first one on our pickup list is the green honda express Keep you around for that too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna nose it right there between that stuff and then we'll wrap it up. Down and 
here is the third. This is the last bike we bought and we are going to attempt to ride it back to our campground, which is 0.2 or 0.3 away. We're picking up the last one. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Yamaha something. 1100. Saturday morning here at Barber. We are headed out of the park to meet up with Brad and John at Bucky's to give them their credentials. If you have to leave Barber, don't ever leave in the morning because you have to deal with this ridiculous line getting back in. Also, we also rode the Yamaha back to our campsite. So, 
Didn't really get footage of that too much, mainly because it was dark and the GoPro died. But I'll try to include the clips of what we have. Yeah, this is your project. I want to make you fix it, too. <laughs> this is number six. A Yamaha, what, two stroke? I don't know what it is, yeah. Dirt bike? Kicker's broke. Something's broke inside the case. It ain't the kicker. Oops. Brittany's going to do her first engine rebuild. Taking her home. We've been walking around the swap meet trying to find parts for the bikes that we're, we know we're missing. And we've been looking for a side cover. There is That's this, is what we were looking for, for one of the bikes. And, and this fits our bike we have at home. And I had one of these also. There he is. I found no bell pack yet. Side covers are one of those weird things that if you don't know exactly what they look like, you're never going to figure out. I'm taking these. Do you want to put them in the toolbox? Huh? Is that the guy that was just talking to us? Yeah. I was going to tell him that if, like, we can go back in the truck tonight, if there's any left, I'll take them and get rid of them. Yeah. Do RDs, though. The DTs have, like, a lighter face gauge. I don't think that would be either one of them. It's tall. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, yeah, you We try to. Okay, I'll see you. We might. And make it not. Hey, if she'll hold my potato, I'll make you load that. Oh, I can grab it. Hey, thanks. Thank you. There we go. What are you going to do with it now? I don't know. We fix most of these we bring home, even them rough ones that shouldn't be fixed. I do like them. I 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 like them
Oh. 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 Um, there's a lot of runners that eat raw potatoes too. All right. What else are we doing? We're we picking up anything else in here. My toolbox. Over at Geeks. It wasn't that big. We borrowed a battery from Brickhouse Cycles, sanded the points over and over and over and over and over, and then gave her some go-go juice, and then she went. She barked off. She barked off. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> he's gonna wrap this tonight. I know he's going to. He's going to. I'm gonna film it too. I mean, it's gonna hit a couple, like what? <laughs> Somebody should film it. Yeah, yes! Yeah. We should all film it. You do that. We should all do it. Think about it. Beautiful. <laughs> 
It doesn't sound bad either. Awesome. No smoke. But what else you're going to get with that? No yeah, yeah, well, I'll give it a burning light. It. Well, <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't do it for I too long. I volunteer his tribute to it either. So hey, he's volunteering to spray for you as you're, <laughs> you're riding. No, no, as you're, as <laughs> That'd be awesome. Run run by by they just run next to him. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. It's Sunday morning here at Barber. Vintage Motorcycle Sports Park. Today is the last day for activities. There will be people that stay until tomorrow. They're camping, uh, but we will be leaving today. Yeah, I guess tell what you did to this. So this is the Express. We bought at Sumter. I cleaned the carb and put fuel lines on it and aired up the tires and it runs. So we brought it up here to Barber and I traded it for a Honda 350 that is the mate to the race bike. Same bike, just not a race bike. Here we are enjoying one last couple of laps around Barber Motorsports Park. We had a great weekend for camping, swapping, buying, selling, trading. We made a lot of new connections, met a lot of different cool people. We even got to demo some bikes. We had a blast. It's one of our favorite events and we'll be sure to return next year. So we were walking around the swap meet and there was a guy that had a table with free side covers and he had one XS11 special side cover. And it's the side we needed. It fits. Like what are the odds of that? <laughs> and it matches the patina. It does. You come over here. This one's a little bit more shiny, but that's fine. It's got the same wear line across the top. I love it. But that is a huge win. So now this bike is complete, but is it missing any we need, uh, I didn't know we needed a turn signal. Oh, well, we probably have some of those. We probably do have some of those. I got a bunch of those. But that is all exciting. You also want to talk about how many bikes we have? So our campsite exploded. <laughs> our campsite has exploded. We're supposed to have a 20 by 20 space, and we have expanded out into, into like three spaces. Three. It's pretty tragic. Everybody is mostly left, so have no fear that we were encroaching on anybody's spot. So we got the Yamaha over here, the Pooch, Twinkle, Twinkle over there, the Yamaha, -ha, the Rebels hanging out over here, and then we have the Green Express, the Peugeot, Moped, on this side. Oh, I forgot the race bike was over here. <laughs> and here's the race bike, taking our residence over here. We moved it so we could take a picture. And then, Great last but not go. least, this is the Honda that we traded for the blue Honda Express 2. And then we've got how many to pick up? Two crotch rockets. Two crotch rockets. And anything else that people try to throw in our truck while we're driving through. Yeah. We're back in the Swami area. We're going to pick up the two crotch rocket bikes. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. Yeah. And that'll be the last of the stuff that we have to pick up in the swap meet area.
dusty low mileage. There are two full sets of cables okay. for those. Sweet. So I think you got everything enough. You definitely got to put together one bike for sure. Absolutely. So, so I think you'll be in good shape. Extra coolant bottle in here and fan, all the hoses. And this was a running bike when I got it. Because right. the guy rode it around the, the block for me. That's what. This is what our setup looks like when we camp in the trailer. So we have our bed, lights up top, and then our chair, and then all the rest of our stuff. So just enough space for us to sleep in and have a slight aisle. It works really well, and it's a cheap way to stay at events without having to spend that money on hotels. This is kind of what organized chaos looks like. Looks like a humongous yard sale at the moment. They got all the bikes in there except for one. And then we still gotta pack all this stuff. Truck's full, so it can't go in there. It took us a lot of effort and a lot of trips back and forth into the trailer, but we have finally got everything loaded. The trailer is slammed full. This needs to be turned. And so is the truck. Got a little Carolina squat squat going on as well. Goodbye, Barber. See you next year. This is a 79 Yamaha XS11 Special, and it runs great. Uh, second gear in the transit switches, so you don't have to so I don't know if this is an adjustment for you or if it needs a gear replaced or what, but if you skip second, it runs perfect. It runs great. Um, it's got enough power that you can do that. Um, I'd ride it like it is, but I ride sketchy John, so please put it on. Um, this bike is strong. It's not a beginner bike. I would not recommend buying this from us if you want a first bike. It's heavy. It's fast. What else can I say? It's a beast. It's a beast. This is a cold start and ride of the little Pugo 102 SP moped. So here goes nothing. Um,
thank you guys for watching. please like, subscribe, comment, and we will catch you on the next one.